In this tutorial, we're going to be covering the SQL update statement. Let's go ahead and launch the SQL Management Studio so we can uh, connect to our database and manipulate some data. So I'll go ahead and log, uh, log into the ITG DB database using SQL authentication. I'll use a user name and password. Go ahead and hit the new query button and connect to the database. All right, so we're ready to start issuing some commands. First thing I want to do is take a look at the data that we currently have in the customer's table. So I'll use a select command, all fields from keyword and the table name. Execute that. You'll notice that three rows were returned and my data set has some missing um, information, missing data in some of the fields. So we're going to use the update statement to go ahead and fill that information in. So let's take a look at the uh, syntax for the update statement. Uh, it's very similar to some of the other um, uh, statements that we've been using. You start the statement by typing the keyword in update, the name of the table, and then use the set. The next step is to um, specify the, the column or the columns. Um, if you have more than one column you want to update, you separate it with a comma. And then use the where condition here uh, to say where some column equals some value. So you're setting certain fields based on uh, certain criteria. So back to our example, let's go ahead and um, update ID number 8 for John Smith and we'll assign the city and state to this um, row. So we'll say update customers we're going to set city equals to Atlanta and we're going to also do state GA where cust name equals John Smith and let's go ahead and run that of course one row is affected we take a look at our data, you'll notice now that we updated uh, row number one, which was ID number eight. Now, what if we want to update more than one row at a time? Well, we don't have to issue um, separate update statements. We can do it in with one statement, especially if we want to update the same information. So let's modify this a little bit. We're going to say update customers set state equals J where customer name um, John Smith is not going to work so what do we have in common with the two rows that we want to update well number one we see that they both have the same city so let's change that to city equals Atlanta and run that of course three rows were affected now we only wanted to update two rows but three rows were affected the reason being is because um, even though this um, ID number 8 row wasn't missing any information, it was included in our statement because of the fact that it had the same city information. So that's okay. Well, that's it for the use of the update statement. Thank you for watching.